Hello everybody, my name is Chris and welcome back to more Mass Effect 2. Now in the last episode we were walking around Nos Astra, talking to a number of people. We helped, you know, rebuild a relationship. We we got some uh we got some more conversations between a lot of just kind of random people. We got a we saved not saved, we 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 renegotiated a transfer Ugh. There was an indentured Dentured servitude, uh, Corian, who was basically in a bad situation, and her handler was trying to sell the contract. It was a whole weird thing, and we helped work that out. So I feel like for the better of the Corian, we actually did a good thing. Um, then we actually got to talk to an Asari matriarch who was running the bar. That was fascinating. That was a very interesting uh, conversation. Got some some insight into. I don't know, just another person It was just really fascinating to hear, right? The father was a Krogan in the Rachni Wars, and the uh, mother was basically fighting in the Krogan Rebellions, right? What a dynamic. <laughs> um, but, but the big thing is we went around, we were helping Liara. Liara, we had to go around and hack some terminals because she got a lead on something, someone called the Observer, and the Observer works for the Shadow Broker. And so, basically, we were trying to track down who this observer was and take them out in order to get Liara to get closer to catching the Shadow Broker, right? And so, Liara's assistant, Nexaris, she gave us a list. She gave us a list of five individuals, right? A, and, and basically, it was one of those five that was the observer. And so we had to go around, and we had to basically hack these terminals which had these messages on there between um well basically from the it seemed like it was between them all or from somebody because it talked about the observer and then it talked about everybody else um but the the big thing that like stuck out was the fact that all of the other the fact that all of them all the five uh suspects that we had all of them um, were male and the the observer in the information that we were learning refers to is referred to as a she which is a very is very different and so based on that uh, we essentially deduced that none of the five were actually correct and Nixeris provided information that was not accurate and Liara wasn't too happy about that and so she confronted Nick Cyrus. We didn't really see it happen, um, but Liara found out that she was actually the observer the whole time. Nick Cyrus, the entire time, was basically a plant, um, planted as her assistant while working for the Shadow Broker, and intentionally fed Liara false information to lead her off the trail, and thanks to us, we actually stopped it. We actually stopped her and this whole thing. And Liara straight up, she she killed Nexaris. It was that's it was nuts. And she apparently had information. So this actually did help Liara in the long run, chasing down the Shadow Broker. But now the pressure is even higher on him or them. Who knows? Because we don't know if the Shadow Broker is one or many. But either way, they're sweating because the R is getting closer. <laughs> but now, now in this episode, now what we're going to do, first thing, first thing we're going to do, as with most things, I need to make sure the fish are fed. Because I don't want that to happen again. <laughs> Alright, fed the fish, check out, check out Boo, see how you're doing. Excellent, great, love it. Um... I think I think I'm cool keeping the I'm gonna keep the armor for a little bit keep the current armor for just a little bit longer <laughs> um, I don't think we need to talk to anybody else I don't think we do I think we're good because we already got yeah we already got Samara's research we did all this stuff. So I think what we need to do 
Let's go on our next mission. And our next mission no is... No for you, Commander. Oh. I'm surprised by Thane's spiritual side. His psych profile mentioned little of it. And he carries himself with such cold confidence. I'm not sure if I find him scary or sexy. <laughs> Maybe both. A lot of women like bad boys. That is a dirty stereotype. <laughs> In my case, it happens to be true, but still. Anyway, what's up? <laughs> Look, it happens to be true, okay, but that is not, that is not, don't do that. Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. It's always nice chatting with you. Fantastic. Okay, now I gotta see his reaction, because, um, Samara. But I think we're gonna go to Tachanka. I want to go to Tachanka. <laughs> Commander. I assume everything is going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. Samara feels like she could shoot me in a very tranquil way, which does not make me feel any better about it. <laughs> well, I always liked Tally, so let's just move on. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. That's great. That's it for now. See you, Commander. I know. Smart is something else. But, yeah, I think I think the next, the right move we make right now is Tachanka. I know we gotta, we just gotta go down the list of everything to do. Um, that's just kind of been catching my interest really strongly since we, since we got these two, right? And I want to help Grunt, obviously. And, and Warden's dude, Malon. Big, big, big bad situation for him down there. And then obviously we're going to figure out the rest of these, these missions and then these assignments. But I know we're going to do Overlord and Arrival a lot later. And then we're going to do Project Firewalker definitely probably before those two. And I know we got to make our way to do these. So I am feeling good about going to Tachanka for right now. I think that's the right thing to do. Alright, we got more fuel, all our probes, we're good to go. Just a mass relay jump. And then, um, and then, yeah, noticing that in, in so each of these, like that green ring around the edge, knowing that we can actually go outside of it, and it takes us to more parts of that, of that neb, like, like for this, sorry, the serpent nebula. We go in here. I mean, not this one, right? Because it's just the citadel, but like theoretically, right? Like this one. Like there's the green ring around. We go through there, and it takes us to essentially different sections of that set, like subsections of that of that space, and that's where the fuel is used. And I've realized that these all have that. And I know we did it like early on, and I haven't really done it since. Um, just cause we've been like, we've been flown. It's been, it's been feeling good, right? But I think it is, it is interesting. So it just means there's more planets for us to go look at and scan and check out, right? <laughs> more resources to get. See, Aralak. Aralak. Right, Tachanka. Well, let's let's do what we usually do. let's let's look at the planets first. I'll come back and um, <laughs> probe them all on my own. Vol, Vol is a hydrogen helium gas giant named for an ancient Krogan deity that stood watch for, for enemies of his pantheon. The gas giant's moons are named after some of Vol's myriad eyes and ears. The only reason to visit the Vol system is scientific curiosity. <laughs> Which the Krogan lack. <laughs> That's very much more of a... Yeah, definitely not a Krogan thing. But... Oh, so we got a couple here. We got a lot of plants here, actually. So... What do we got here? Krubin. Oh my god. <laughs> Krubin is tidally, is a tidally locked Venusian hothouse. Its surface perpetually obscured by clouds of sulfur and carbon dioxides. The first group of Krogan brought it into orbit. By the Salarian uplift teams, 
requested a trip to Krubin. Slarians at first thought the Krogan were confused about the nature of Krogan's environment. The planet is named for, for a Krogan mythological paradise in which honorable warriors feast on the internal organs of their enemies. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> in fact, Krogan astronomers had correctly deduced the nature of Krubin in the years before the global holocaust. In the two millennia since, Krubin has become... Kruben had come to be thought of as an ideal test of one's toughness. Every year, a few Krogan attempt to land on Kruben and exit their ships naked in an attempt to prove their Kroganhood. <laughs> Planet surface is littered with crushed, corroded remains of their ships. Only one, Shath Norda, is known to have returned from the surface alive, albeit most of his bones crushed and... All four of his lungs damaged by sulfuric gas. <laughs> Norder recovered from his trial to the adulation of his people. Until he died in 1943, he could lie with any fertile female he wished. Jesus. <laughs> My god. That's insane. So, so he literally, this is the only dude who came back. Shaft Norda. He showed up. He was his bones were crushed and all four of his lungs were damaged by the sulfuric gas. <laughs> but he recovered. And he recovered and until he died, he could lay with any fertile female he wished. He was a goddamn champion, the fucking hero. So er everyone wanted him. Some wanted to be him. Fucking legend. <laughs> Cannon? Canine? Cannon. <laughs> One of Cannon's hemispheres contains an impact crater 700 kilometers in diameter, dubbed the Rankat Basin. It was mined for light minerals in the interbellum between the Rachni War and the Krogan Rebellions. Any obvious resource concentrations have long been, long since been stripped. Damn. Orbital period and oh yeah, orbital period 0.6 years. So I guess it doesn't uh, maybe it doesn't rotate. That's interesting. But the fact that they would go over here just to prove their Krogan hood it's so wild. Ruam, Ruam. The smaller of Arlac's hydrogen-helium gas giants maintains a small helium-3 recovery infrastructure. Although the depth of ROM's gravity well, oh, gravity well, makes it inefficient to export. Visitors to the Arlac system often top off their fuel tanks at ROM's stations. The Council Dematerialization Enforcement Mission, DCEM, or CDEM, goddamn. Maintains a token garrison to monitor any potential sale of fuel to known subverses and terrorists. Population 1040. The garrison 20. So the CDEM has a strong presence here. Let's see. Tachanka. Tachanka. Doesn't look great. This does not look like... This looks like a rough place. Scarred by bombardment craters, radioactive rubble, choking ash, salt flats, and alkaline seas. Jesus. Tachanka can barely support life. <laughs> Thousands of years ago, life grew in fierce abundance under the F-class star Aralak. A Reich... A Reich clan word meaning Eye of Wrath. Tree analogs grew in thick jungles, their roots growing out of shallow, silty seas. Life fed upon life in an evolutionary crucible. This world died in nuclear firestorms after the Krogan split the atom. Oh shit. A little ice age of nuclear winter killed off much, much of the remaining plant life. Damn, so they figured out how to make nukes and they just basically fucked up this whole place. Jesus. 
In recent centuries, many Krogan have returned to their homeworld. The reduced albedo has caused global temperatures to rise. In order to maintain livable temperatures, a vast shroud was assembled at the L1 Lagrange point. It is maintained by the Council Demilitarization Enforcement Mission, the CDEM, which is based on orbiting battle stations. CDEM Advisory. Visitors to Chunkalan at their own risk. CDEM will not attempt to extract citizens threatened by clan warfare. <laughs> literally, it's like, if you go on there, you're on your own, quite literally. If you, if you're threatened, that's, that's, you, you know what you did. You, you accepted this. Travel advisory. The ecology of Tachanka is deadly. Nearly every native species engages in some predatory behavior. Even the remaining vegetation is carnivorous. Holy shit. Travel beyond guarded areas is strongly discouraged. I bet. 2.1 billion. Holy shit. Capital, currently Erdnot, since 2183. Erdnot? Is the capital? Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Wasn't, wasn't that Re- wait. Wait a minute. Wasn't that Rex's, like, his, his, like, f for, it was Erdnot Rex from Mass Effect 1, right? Erdnot Rex. And the capital is named Erdnot. But it's 2183. Was it, was it currently Erdnot? Or did, like, by him returning to Jachanka, the new capital is Erdnot? I don't know what year it is, actually. I don't know what year it is currently. What the fuck? So, so wait, 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 wait. So you're telling me the current capital is Erdnot. I want to know the relevance of that. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, CDM Garrison 2400 in orbital battle stations. The distance, uh, er, orbital period 16.7 years, 21 Earth hours a day, 1.1 Earth atmospheres, 72 Celsius, 36 in shrouded areas in the cool shade, and 1.14 Gs. So, okay, so it's a. <laughs> I don't want to say like a perfectly normal planet, but it's like, it's close to Earth as far as this. Temperature is a little wild, but, um, you know, and the fact that the whole place has been completely obliterated by war and everything is trying to kill everything else is interesting. <laughs> this is interesting. And then the capital, that, I'm sorry, that blows my mind. Erdnot. Holy shit. Let's fucking go. Let's go. Erdnot. Erdnot. Okay. This is this is this is what I've been thinking about since this happened, right? Since we got them both. Who do we take with us? Because the obvious choices to me, right? I'm sure this could have a lot of I'm sure you could come here with like different people and there'd be a lot of different interesting reactions, right? But I feel like not that he would care, but grunt Grunt here, he's not hes not invested in the Krogan exactly, right? He doesn't care about the genophage. He doesn't care about any of that. He's really just, we're here to look at his situation and try to, try to figure out, like, what's going on with him, right? That's really what he cares about. I don't know if it'd be like, oh, my people, right? I don't know if that's the, that would happen, but because he doesn't really care about that. Not really. But it'd be interesting to take him for his own for his own reasons. And then Morden, because his guy is here. His guy is here, and him coming with us could be a good thing. Though bringing a slayer in here I feel like, especially the, the guy who the other guy who's responsible for the new genophage would be a whole situation if they knew that. But bringing him for his own his for his his friend, I feel like is a good thing. I feel like this is the team, right? Because otherwise, bringing Garrus, a Turian, be very, that'd be a wild situation. 
is why I think it could also be some interesting reactions, right? Same with Tali. And, uh, anyway, so this is the one. Gr Grunt and Morton. This is what we're doing. <laughs> um, oh, we have enough. Okay, let's boost his, like, immediately beeline. <laughs> Solarian genius, Solarian savant. Solarian genius. Morton's technical breakthroughs further increase the strength of his shields. Okay, so very shield based. And Solarian Savant, Morden's study of ballistics, physics, and shock trauma. <laughs> Increases weapon damage. 25% health, 25 weapon damage, 18 shields. This one's. Okay, so it's it's flip. Basically, I either get 18 weapon damage, 18 shield. But flipping, yeah. Okay, no, I understand. <laughs> Uh, more shield or more damage? I I feel like the right thing is the shields. Why? Because the weapons are really good. He's good with his weapons. He's got good abilities. So him having more of a shield... 25%. That's still pretty good. He can kind of like take a little bit more hits while dealing shit out. Right? Him doing a little bit more damage is like... That's fine, but... This is this the shield I feel like just overall would be a bigger improvement. Alright, and grunt. I it just gets cause like I we have three more points, right? I would upgrade incinerate. Like cryoblast, we have that, and I know he could apply it to his weapon. So it's not like I'd be doubling down on a skill that we all have, right? But the thing is, if we go here, we're, I mean, we are going here, right? We're going to finish Grunt and Morden's loyalty mission, which means we unlock these. Right now, we don't have them. And this delivers a shock to the opponent's nerves, briefly incapacitating one organic enemy at a time. Lasts for five seconds. And so, I'm thinking we hold off, save these three, Right? We put him in here. Right? Because I, th I feel like that would be a really good idea to have this ability. Right? Because we're going to unlock it after this. Same with Grunt. Right? I would love to boost his incendiary ammo, especially because he uses a shotgun. <laughs> like, that's amazing. But fortification a brief but massive boost to your armor. Right, reinforces armor with non-Newtonian fluid that hardens when struck. Um, huge bonus, right? But brief. Lasts for a minute. Takes 12 seconds to recharge. Armor bonus plus 25% of maximum shields. Boost. Big. This guy is a fucking tank. And this is only going to make him tankier. Like, his armor is 360. Ours is 325. Like, I know, like, Morden's got more because we we just boosted his shield, right? But Grunt, this is going to give him a temporary boost of 25%, which goes to 50%, 75 and then we can evolve it. So, like, 75%. That's a big thing. So I'm going to save that. That's the plan. That's what we're doing. Us, we don't have enough points yet. <laughs> but... That's what I'm. That's where. That's where my head is at. Right. Grunt. Uh, oh, he got this shotgun. Uh, no, I want him to have his own. I want him to have his shotgun. Morden. Okay, you're using that. That's good. Okay. Okay, I think we're we're good. We're good. Oh, God. Oh, this place is a shithole. <laughs> oh, no. Alright. Interesting. It It is visibly destroyed. Just like we read from the scan. Oof. Tachanka. Oof. Over, Captain. Stop right there, alien. You're Shepard of the Normandy. 
Uh, yes, sir. Char. Normandy. Blood Pack Recruiter. Oh, he's got one of the little dogs. Okay. Do I talk to everyone? Do I talk to other people first? What did I tell you, honey? Isn't it beautiful? Far away from all that high-tech noise. I guess. Seems a bit dirty, though. Oh, it builds character. <laughs> it builds character. Is it just me, or do the other Krogan not like me? Oh, there's some concern about me bringing in a non-Krogan. I had to talk to the chief a little. It's not a deal. Wait, so they don't even want me here? Who cares what they want? I want you. That's all that matters. Oh, that was a weird energy. I don't know if I can do this, Char. Hey, now. My blue rose of Ilium always stands strong to reach toward the sun. Okay, I'll manage. Just no more poetry. <laughs> so. God damn it. No more poetry, please. What did I tell you, honey? Isn't it beautiful? Far away from all that high tech noise. I guess. Seems a bit dirty, though. Oh, it builds character. This is what I. This is what I did. This is what I did. I did this. I brought them together, and they ended up here. Oh shit. That's interesting. Huh. Because those those are the two. Those are those are those are them. They they are them. They are them. Watch it, human. Okay. Erd not warrior. Oh shit. Because the whole thing that the okay okay, like I'm hoping to see Rex. To be fair, I'm hoping we see Rex, but. His whole thing was coming back to Tachanka to unite the Krogan clans. So are they united under Erdnot? The Erdnot clan. If you're looking for work, you're shouting down the wrong hole. The Blood Pack only recruits Krogan. You again. I told you the Blood Pack only wants Krogan. Go flash your smooth skin somewhere else. Oof. I thought coming to Tachanka would get me away from jaw-flapping aliens. I was obviously mistaken. God damn. If you're looking for work, you're shouting down the wrong. All right, way. understood. The blood pack only recruits Krogan. Damn. So he brought he he brought her <laughs> to a Krogan world, not just a Krogan world, but like a work in progress Krogan world. <laughs> oh God. Peace. Be cool. Okay. The clan leader wants to speak with you. Keep your running pet on a short leash. Get him the right soon or put him down. What the fuck? Your running pet? The right. What is the right noted? The right? Do you know what's wrong with him? What he needs? There's nothing wrong with him. Just go speak to the clan leader. Uh. Okay. There's nothing wrong with him. I don't know, you kind of implied that there was. Take your business to the clan leader and keep your running pet on a short leash. Get him the right soon or put him down. Okay. Do you know what's wrong with him? There's nothing what? wrong with him. Just go speak. Okay, all right, shit. All right, who the hell's a clan leader? Someday we'll get off this rock and show those Torians who's boss. Damn right. Tear their scales off and let the Pijaks feast on them while they're still alive. Ha! God damn. Fucking brutal. Jesus. Erdnot clan reports use weak encryption. I see references to a captured Solarian in the logs of the Chief Scout. <gasps> Good. Talk to Scout then. Or Chief. Either one acceptable. Also, I have been unable to access local medical records. I suggest asking the local clan leader for assistance with Grunt's problem. Anything to say? No? Okay. Okay, so... So, clan leader for Grunt... And... That one for... Okay, cool. Understood. 
weak encryption we were able to get through. Nice. Were you around when the female camp sent the children over last week? No. I was off dealing with a Varen attack. What? Any promising warriors? Yes, of course. They're strong. One day they will tear our enemies apart. <laughs> Hell yeah. One of the children, probably five years from the right. Oh, talk to Grunt. Uh, think you actually had a fertile female on one? This is the great Krogan homeworld. This is the land of Kredok, Shiagar, and Viol. This chunk of rock is barely worth standing on. <laughs> Never thought I'd miss the tank. Damn. See, that's interesting. I was hoping he'd have something to say. Because it is interesting. Right? Like, he, he, he's been imprinted with it. Or he knows of it. It was... It was good. Fast. Strong. Well, of course he was. Any son of yours must be. Then they went back to the female camp. He was so fast. I didn't get to talk with him. Damn. Hers? Stop it. Come on, really? It's... We've only ever fought them. We've never had one be, like, kind of chill. Can we pet him? Good, Varen. Oh my god. Precious. Good, Varen. Stay. <laughs> that, that's kind of... That's wholesome. Greetings, human. My name is Ratch. Have a look at what I've got. No hate for an alien? What do you sell here? Everyone I talk to hates that aliens are inert not. Except you. I don't have the luxury of turning away paying customers. I do enough business off-world to know that you aliens have more credits than people here do. G yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> What do you have in stock? Most of it's food and drink that's toxic to humans. Rincall's a local favorite. Don't try to act tough, it'll tear your insides apart. He's not joking. Rincall hits aliens like ground glass. Otherwise, I've got weapons, scrap, and whatever food those pie jocks don't steal. Which isn't much. Take a look at my kiosk over there if you want to buy something. Damn. Shit. Let's see, what do you sound? Tell me about the pie jacks. What the hell is a pie jack? <laughs> Off world vermin. Humans say they're like monkeys. They come in and steal food, ring call, whatever they can get their talons on. Shit. I started using the mounted defense cannons to stop them. Oh, so this is like a bad problem. This isn't. It's like an infestation. I'm a good shot. Maybe I can help out with the pie jacks. Feel free. Can use the console out there to control the guns. Make a dent in the pie jack population, and you get a discount. Brother, you got good it. Good luck with that. Hey, good enough for I me. Go. Suit yourself. Shit. So it was that little thing that was like kind of sitting there. Well, funky looking alien. That's interesting. Cool. Hell yeah. Should I ask the female clan for right of parentage? Why bother with all the politics? You know you've sired a son. That's enough. But I could teach him to hunt. The, the best way to shoot a gun. To fight with honor and savagery. Eh, you can do that next time they bring the children home. It's not the same. It's not the same. Just saying, is there anything? See that special they had on the extranet? That crap rots your brain. You should be out hunting. Or fixing something if you can't hunt. It was a special bid on the Citadel. Interesting. I wanna I wanna start exploring, but I kinda feel like it's important that we we talk with these guys. Hold it. Oh. You must wait till the clan leader summons you. He is in talk. You know what okay. tradition demands. Clan Erdnot must respond. Your reforms will not go unopposed. You risk appearing weak at a critical time, Shepard. Oh, shit. Good enough. 
Holy fuck. Excuse me. <laughs> Out of my Shepherd. My friend. Hell yeah. You look well for dead, Shepherd. Should have known the void couldn't hold you. God damn right. Fuck. Oh my god, I have missed this man and his voice and every god damn he's mm. Mm. I I had hoped I had hoped that he was gonna be here. I had hoped that we were gonna see him at some point. The second the second I heard we could have gone to Tachanka. I was like, holy shit, there's a chance. So mm. it's been a long time. Looks like helping me destroy Saren and the Geth has worked out for you. Glad we didn't have to kill each other on Vermeer. Huh. You made the rise of Erd not possible. Vermeer was a turning point for the Krogan, though not everyone was happy about it. Fair. Destroying Saren's genophage cure freed us from his manipulation. I used that to spur the clans to unify under Erdnot. You abandoned <laughs> many traditions to get your way. Dangerous. Speak <laughs> once spoken to, Uvenk. I'll drag your clan to glory whether it likes it or not. <laughs> Fuck. Now, Shepard, what brings you here? How's the Normandy? <laughs> Blown up. It's gone, but I'm not. God damn it. Uh, oh, it's so cool. He's here. Fuck yeah. And he actually, like, he likes, he's happy to see us. It's amazing. Fuck, cool. So yeah, he did unite them under Erdnot. So, so they are, the clans are united under Erdnot. That's so cool. And because of us, this was possible. Destroyed in the collector surprise attack. I ended up spaced. Well, you look good. Ah, the benefits of a redundant nervous system. <laughs> yeah, humans don't have that. Oh, it must have been painful then. But you're standing here, and you've got a strong new ship. Takes me back to the old days. Us against the unknown, killing it with big guns. Yeah. Good times. The fucking best times. The best times, god damn it. Tell me about your work, Slurian and Blood Pack. Tell me about your work. Sounds like you've got big changes ahead for the Krogan. We are making a neutral ground where all clans are welcome. Fertile females can be shared among clans. We will strengthen the race as a whole. You threaten everything that makes us strong. It will not last. Maybe. Until then, you're lucky to be a part of it. Yeah, they're buttonheads. This dude is not happy about it. How do you keep control? Why bother with weak clans? How do you maintain security with so many different clans in one place? Any clan willing to send in hostages can come in. No fighting inside the camp. Each clan punishes its own criminals. We stop conflicts before anyone dies. Then we present a simple choice. Pay a fine and deal with your problems, or your clan is no longer welcome. Hmm. That's kind of straightforward, but... Eyes a good start. That doesn't sound very harsh by Krogan standards. Allies from other clans like what I'm doing. They help deal with skeptics. Many are eager for an outlet. Every time I've declared a clan unwelcome, my allies have destroyed them. Oh, shit. Word gets around. Damn. <sighs> shit. So when they, they bring the clans together, if one's like, no, and then he doesn't let them... He's like, no, you're no longer welcome. The other clans just, like, fucking gang up on him. Shit. What's so important about maintaining individual clans? Every clan has different customs. Rites of passage, rules of behavior, Battle songs, all unique. That diversity makes us great. No clan, not even mine, was meant to survive on its own. But yours is dominant. Erdnot is the leading clan. Doesn't that make your culture primary? For now. But every clan has its unique assets. The best tacticians are Erdnot. Chorgal has the longest breeding line. Gatatog holds the oldest settlement. Others have their own strengths. 
we keep going how we are, the clans will end up as craters under nuclear haze. Even or not, we need to rethink, restart. That's fascinating. Shit. You share your females? Well, I feel like this is gonna. Well, no, we're gonna do this side first. Just... I hope that works well for your people. But back to the reason I'm here. We don't often allow aliens to do business on Tuchunka, but you're an exception. Oh. Sounds like you've got big changes ahead for the Krogan. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> we're making a neutral ground where all clans foolishness. I hope that works well for your people. We God don't often allow <laughs> aliens to do business. Okay, hold on. Sounds like you've got big changes ahead. We're making a neutral ground where all clans can share resources and fertile females. Foolishness. All of it. All of it. Okay, you share your females. We'll talk later. How's your plan going? What do the women of Clan Earth not think about this plan? It was our female clan leader's idea. Oh. The neutral area is safe, hmm. and it encourages more female clans to ally with us. Attacks on Erdnot now endanger the females of all clans. Even clans that want to see me dead will defend Clan Erdnot. Because of the female. Interesting. That's pretty good. This sounds ambitious. How's it gone so far? Works for everybody. Better than I'd feared. Worse than I'd hoped. Damn. I can't continue. You are going against what makes us strong. Shit. You have opposition. Sounds like you're not making friends. Traditionalists like Uvenk are chained Varen, always fighting, guarding their pathetic stick in the ground. When the smoke clears, I can plant the flag on their corpses and rally the rest around a new Krogan hub. Fuck. <laughs> Sounds like you're counting on a lot of bloodshed, even after you unite. It will be slow, but I won't change what we are. Krogan are judged by the strength of our enemies. Our worst insult is to say someone's not worth killing. Damn. <laughs> Alright, that makes sense, right? Fuck. Dude, he has been at work. I hope that works well <laughs> for your people. But back to the reason I'm here. We don't often allow aliens to do business on Tuchunka, but you're an exception. <laughs> it's wrong with Grunt. I'm leaving. Come with us. We'll talk later. Slayer and Blood Pack. I'm looking for a Solarian. He was captured by the Blood Pack and brought here. My scout commander can direct you. He's probably near the perimeter running target practice. Don't take too much of his time. I need a constant watch on the other clans. No fair. Don't worry. I got you, man. <laughs> I have a Krogan on my crew. He has some kind of sickness and needs treatment. Where are you from, whelp? Was your clan destroyed before you could learn what is expected of you? I have no clan. I was tank bred by Warlord Okir. My line distilled from Kredok, Moro, Shiagar. You recite warlords, but you are the offspring of a syringe. I am Sir <sighs> Krogan. You should be in awe. Okir is a very old name. A very hated name. He is dead. Of course. You're with Shepard. How could he be alive? <laughs> Fuck. God damn it. Of course he's dead. You're with Shepard. Why would he be alive? Get to the point. Does it change anything? Does that name mean anything to you, Rex? A vicious warlord responsible for many deaths. Who apparently toyed with genetics. A clone undertaking the right? You are considering it? Tank bred allowed status as an adult? This is too far. There's nothing wrong with him. He's becoming a full adult. Ah, puberty ritual. Common among species with hormone-driven reproductive urges. I don't care what he is, <laughs> call it. Krogan undergo the rite of passage. Too far, Rex. Your clan may rule, but this thing is not Krogan. Shit. Idiot. So, Grunt, do you wish to stand with Erdnot? Holy shit. That dude is so angry. He's angry about so many things that Rex is doing. His call, if this helps, yes. Let's see, what's involved? You allow a clone? 
What if he doesn't? What does the rite of passage require? Not for me to say, Shepard. The shaman will discuss that. Shaman? Oh boy. You'll let a tank bred Krogan join Glan Erdnut? Only because he's with you. After all, you and I killed thousands like him. Not quite as big, but many. Glan Erdnot is strong, and the others will do as I say. They see the benefit of my vision. Cool. <laughs> I like that he's actually willing to give him the chance, just because he trusts us so much. What happens if he doesn't do this rite of passage? If he was left here, he would be killed. The clanless are not respected. A tank bred, probably more so. His disposition He's... is what it is, right or no. That's just him being a Krogan. Okir didn't tell you that in the tank. Did he, boy? <laughs> God. Yep. Father he needed. His call. If this helped, yes. His call. This is his choice. I can't make that for him. It is in my blood. It is what I am for. Good boy. <laughs> Speak with the shaman. He's over on the second level. Give him a good show and he'll set you on the path. Hell yeah. You too, Shepard. How many times have you stepped in a mess for your crew, hmm? <laughs> Damn. I'm leaving, come with us, what's wrong with Gron? It's like, okay, so... Leaving, come with us. So... That's... I don't want to say we're leaving yet, but... We'll talk later. I need to go. We'll go over this another time. Watch yourself, Shepard. Tuchanka isn't safe and homey like Pharaohs and Ilos. Ah, uh, yes. The homey, the homey feeling, the comfort of Ilos. <laughs> oh, man. You know what? That's cool, though. I'm glad I brought these two. This was a good, this was a, I mean, it almost was like an obvious decision, but the fact that you have a choice, right? It's interesting. I'm glad he's gonna go through it. It'll be better for him. Pit fight gambling station. Put down some real money, human. Wait, what? The red brown Varen and the white blue Varen. Oh, this is like literally pit fighting. Oh shit. Let's go. That's kinda of sad. Shit. God damn. We made two hundred and fifty dollars. Watch it, human. Okay. I straight ahead. Oh, always. Okay. Let's see what the human can do. I'm ready. What the hell? Shoot the pie jacks. Yeah. Oh. Uh, okay, I see. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? Got him. Yo, I can see these guys being a real pain in the ass. Cause they just they would just like rush in and steal shit. Okay, just gotta focus. Get wrecked, bitches. Oh god. There we go. Nice. Oh, there's more. Okay. So I'm just trying to do is just trying to do good. Oh god, this is gonna get chaotic. 
the fucking screams. <laughs> Oh god, oh god, oh god. Get wrecked. Shit. Oh god. Stressful. Okay, we got this. Oh god. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. 18. I don't know how many of these I got to do, but I'm just going to kind of do. God. Oh, God. Okay. Oh god. Stressful. So many of them. I can see why this is a problem. Uh, go, go, go. There we go. Awesome. <sighs> okay. Complete a ratchet. Okay, we did all three. Hell yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. We're so good. What do you want, human? You're crowding my hump. Help me find a Solarian. Tell me about yourself. So, you're in charge of Erdnot scouts? Why waste your time shooting at vermin? Ammunition is the one thing we're not hurting for on Tachanka. As scout commander, I have to set an example. Plus, the little bastards get into food supplies if their numbers get too high. Can't have that. Can't have that. Uh, need for scouting, scout commander duties, threats of threats to food. Do you see a lot of action around here? Enough. Varen here and there, and snakes in any of the water safe enough to drink. Rex has made ceasefire agreements with some of the clans, but I still have to patrol, keep them honest. <laughs> yeah, because, like, as a deterrent, I get that. What does the scout commander do? We find out where the enemies are, and we make them think that there are too many of us to screw with. Sometimes that means harassing the perimeter, taking out a generator or two. Other times, we play hide and seek. We leave lots of tracks, exaggerate our numbers. That's interesting. Tactical, right? You know, uh, let's see, hardly sounds like scouting. And is this normal? And this is normal? That's not recon, that's sabotage. It's a lot easier to count their numbers once you blow some of them up. <laughs> Everyone knows where Erdnot is, human. It's not like we can hide. I mean, yeah, you're right, though. So every clan of Tachanka encroaches on the other clan's borders? Borders? This is Tachanka. Our borders are determined by the range of our guns. <laughs> we are what we are, human. Shit. If we didn't fire at them, they wouldn't take us seriously. <laughs> Okay, I guess that makes sense. I love that. The borders? What do you mean borders? Are they border? Like, borders are determined by the... It's great. Shit. It is... This is definitely... A very much, like, work in progress. He's trying to unite the clans. Rex's. And there's clearly some resistance, and it's not perfect yet. But he's trying, and things have improved. But still, a lot more room for improvement. Don't your storehouses have automated defenses? Why bother? Half of what we eat is vermin. And if we get hold of defense systems, we don't use them to guard grain. We've got <laughs> weapons stockpiles to take care of. Beyond that, our women and children get the security. Okay, that's respectable. Taking care of your food supply would help more in the long run. If Clan Jordan kills our guards and helps itself to our well-secured food, there won't be a long term. This is Tachanka. Having power and clean water means we're living in luxury. Shit. Goddamn. Your enemies go after civilians? Easiest way to wipe out a clan. Women and kids can fight, but they're always outnumbered if another clan goes after them. If it's women and children are killed, 
A clan's hope for the future is lost. It falls apart. We don't do that, though. Rex's orders. Even if it costs us a battle, we don't fire on non-combatants. Respectable. See, that just my man Rex. You know, he's that's that's good. You know, because you, you basically kill the women and the children. You you've completely fucked that clan, and and it's not even just the clan, right? It's it's the Krogan people as a whole. You're also just completely screwing over. So, damn. Thanks for the information. Whatever. <laughs> what do you want, human? You're crowding my hump. I'm looking for a Solarian. The blood pack captured him and he was last seen around here. I heard about that Solarian. Poor bastard. If it's blood pack, then Clan Warlock has him. Sent one of my scouts to check it out, but he never reported back. Guess they got him, too. Oh, shit. Chief told me to give you one of the trucks. Just follow the highway to Warlock's base if you've got the quads to deal with him in the blood pack. I got the quads for days. <laughs> shit. So, oh my god, he even sent one of his scouts and he didn't come back, so it's like these guys are probably... Oh god. This, this guy's in a bad spot. Our, our Solarian. What can you tell me about Clan Warlock's base? Fuck. Last I heard, the clan was holed up in an old hospital. I haven't seen it, though. I've only seen Clan Warlock from a distance. If I'd gotten closer, I'd have taken a shot. You get inside, though, bring a big gun. Warlock's base is crawling with blood pack. Damn. A hospital, though. That doesn't sound too defensible. Why'd they hole up there? Any hospital on Tachanka has to be built well enough to withstand a bunch of enraged Krogan. When an injury forces us to switch over to secondary organs, things get messy. Higher thought processes don't always transition properly. Blood rage, they call it. Oh, that's interesting. So it's not just like... It's not just a term. Just like a normal term. It's like an actual thing referring to... Like the state that they like fall into from those kind of injuries. That's fascinating. Any idea what they're doing with the Solarian? I assume they wanted to torture him. You don't take somebody home just to kill them. It's messy. Maybe he pissed off the blood pack, and they brought him here for special treatment. No skin off my hump what they'd do with him. One less <laughs> alien on Tachanka. Yikes. That's a bit xenophobic. You don't seem to have much love lost for aliens. Don't get your quads in a twist. If I was gonna kill you, you'd know it. Rex believes we need to unite the Krogan people. I don't think we can do that with off-worlders interfering, but it's not my call. Yeah, fair. I mean, like, fair, I'm glad that he's like, yeah, I'm not gonna, if you, if I wanted to kill you, I'd let you know. And, yeah, right, if you're trying to reunite the Krogan people and then, like, off worlders keep like getting involved and like being apart, getting in the way, all this stuff. I can understand like maybe that process gets thrown off a bit. What's Clan Warlock's reputation, and how are they involved with the blood pack? Tough humps, and they're not friendly like we are. You ever run into the blood pack? Mercenary gang. Clan Warlock started it, one of the only gangs with an off world presence. They're fanatics. Totally devoted to Warlock Gold. Whatever they did with your Solarian, Gold's behind it. Interesting. Okay. Because we dealt with the, the, the blood pack on um on Omega. And yeah, they aren't all Krogan, how so? But the blood pack has non Krogan members. Like Vorcha. Ha, huh, the Vorcha. They're just like the Varan. Only they can use guns and don't crap on the floor as often. <laughs> oh my the God. Krogan are the only real members of the blood pack. Anyone else is just there to soak enemy fire. Damn. Shit. What makes Gald so special? He's got two children. One of them is a girl. Some people think he's got a destiny. Not me. I had a cousin who won 20 consecutive games of Quasar. 
Lucky bastard. I'd ask my cousin for a loan, but I wouldn't swear allegiance to him. Luck. That's all it is. Same for gold. That's all it is. Is there... Is there another option with but this one? The, blood pack has... uh, the, the Krogan are the only real members no. of the Blood Pack. Anyone else is just there to soak in tough hunks. They're fanatics. This totally one. devoted to Werelock Gold. Whatever they did with your Solarian, Gold's behind it. What makes Gold so special? He's got two oh, children. Okay, it's Not, the same thing. I'd just different, different wording. Alone, but I wouldn't swear allegiance to him. Thanks for the information. Anything that gets rid of the damn offworlders. You can take the truck over there. You need anything else? No, we're all. Is this gonna give us anything new? Can you tell me more about your duties out here? Far away. Gotta let my peace cool off anyway. The <laughs> other scouts wouldn't accept a commander overloading his gun while shooting at vermin. <laughs> You're just gonna okay. Okay, we we done. Talk to you later. Cool. Nice. Good Give shit. Me a reason. Sweet, now we can go get our discount at the store. <laughs> All this building up to. Things could be different. Looks like Ur's finally found someone to follow around. Yeah. Good, Varen. Stay. Nice. Seeing those vermin roasting the heat from an explosive shell. I swear it was glorious. <laughs> My pleasure. It was a lot of fun. Help yourself to more. There's no shortage of pie jocks out there if you get a craving for violence. I'll give you a discount at my store. Anything you want, you buy at cost. Hell yeah, let's go. Hey, Fernando, what do you sell here? Okay, cool. I should go. Suit yourself. What are you selling? Hijack meat. Fresh, raw hijack meat is a favorite of Varen everywhere. It's free, though. Yes. I have no idea what we would do with it, but it didn't cost us anything, and so at the end of the day, why wouldn't we? But, I wonder if we can feed that to something. Anyway, heavy weapon ammo. Can do it, we just need more money. Which hopefully, by the end of this, we'll have more money. But, ooh, new gauntlets. Heavy damping gauntlets. Armax Arsenal added micro harmonic oscillators to reduce stress to the connect barriers, ensuring suit integrity when faced with oncoming projectiles. 5% shield. Yeah, not bad. Oh, that's wild looking. Death mask. Developed by Tyrael Advanced Communications Corporation, or TAC. The death mask not only offers exceptional protection, but also includes an advanced audio processing package that allows unprecedented clarity and resonance for spoken communication. Increases negotiation bonus by 10%. That's pretty cool. This, though. M5 Phalanx Heavy Pistol. Highly accurate and lethal sidearm. Effective against armor. Weak against shields and biotic barriers. Upgrades the Predator Heavy Pistol. Okay, so... So I see, like, if I was to go between the two, right? Like, use, um... Essentially, like, use the, the uh, submachine gun to shred the shield. And then switch to this to, like, blow through the armor. Right? That kind of thing. Let's see. The M5 Phalanx... Is the product of the Alliance's offensive handgun project that developed a close in weapon to be used on armored or shielded targets with no loss of stomping power in comparison to the soldier's assault rifle. The Phalanx enjoys a ballistics advantage even over most hand cannons and features an integral laser sight, which is highly visible even in bright lighting conditions. Civilian variants are often purchased by colonists on worlds that have particularly dangerous big game animals. Ooh. I want it. It's a good weapon. I don't know about these. I'm gonna save my money because I want to buy this. But getting that new pistol was a good idea. <laughs> Were you around when the female camp? Oh, so we're uh, 
Okay, we're creating. We're, we're we're setting up um a presence here, <laughs> at least. Oh, Rex. It's just so cool to see him again. God damn it. I'll talk to him later, after we do some stuff. It's just... I'm proud of him. Right? Feels pretty cool. Seeing, like, where he was in the in Mass Effect 1. My Varen is hungry. <laughs> just, uh... Yeah, just where he was in Mass Effect 1, and then... Where he's come. Since then. <laughs> one wrong step, Shepard. Don't touch anything. Oh, okay. You got it. <laughs> we got... It. Oh, injured crew. Krogan's hit by genophage. Nuclear assaults. Civil wars. Still survive. Yeah, no thanks to you. Or anyone else. Impressive to see life adapt. Continue despite circumstances. Inspiring. I mean, when you think about it, right? I mean, it is wild that they literally were hit with the genophage. And then... They still evolved past it. That's crazy. Hide punch. <laughs> Do we just punch it? Really? <laughs> Son of a bitch. That's funny. Just so random, but funny. My God. Fortac. Should you be in here? Should Should you be in here? Who are you? I am Fortac. Lord High Researcher in Matters Scientific for Clan Erdnot. And I don't have time to answer your inane questions. Oof. Then make time. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, so it seems like he's supposed to be. I won't bother you for long. I won't take up much of your valuable time. My work is very important, human. Of course it is. I'm just curious. I'd heard a lot about the genius of Krogan science. Oh, finally someone <laughs> understands. I swear, I am among brainless pijacks here, toiling among savages. I am the Lord High Researcher. The Lord High Researcher. You must be working on something important. I was building the biggest, best offensive ordinance yet. A real ground pounder. But the new clan leader wastes my time with frivolous research. Crop genetics, medicinal improvements. We can buy that stuff from the Salarians. Salarians created genophage, I've heard. Still trust them with medicines and agriculture? Yeah, yeah, what else can the Salarians do to us at this point? Not like they can make us even more infertile. Actually, wait, forget I said anything. <laughs> God damn it. Just like, what else are they gonna do? Wait, shit. Uh, you have an impressive title, though. I take it you're a scientist. I used to be a scientist. I designed weapons. Now my genius is wasted on frivolous things. Things that don't explode. My predecessor said no one would understand the true worth of my work. As I pulled my blade from his chest, I knew he was telling the truth. Oh shit. Uh, you killed your predecessor? Not exactly what I would call effective academic peer review. I don't care what you'd call it. We value the will to use what we create, not just the ability to create it. We don't count success until the ground shakes in response. God damn. Hell yeah. Uh... There was this option. How did I get that? I take it you're assigned. used to be a... My predecessor said no one would understand the true world. You must be working on something important. new plan Salarians created yeah. genophage. Actually, wait, forget it. You must be working ah, on shit. something important. Salarians created genophage. Yeah, yeah okay. what else can Hold the Salarians <laughs> do to us at this point? It's not like they can make us even more infertile. Actually, wait, forget I said anything. Tell me about the new leader. This is what I was going back to. It sounds like the new clan leader has some very different ideas on how to lead the Krogan. If you want to know more, talk to him directly. He's my leader. I'll not say anything else about him. It's probably a good thing. Enjoy your research. Yes, yes, move along. Move along. Have you forgotten? I have no time for you. Being the Lord High Researcher in matters scientific for Clan Erdnot demands my total attention. I won't take up much of your valuable time. There are other my options. My work is very important, human. Of course it is. Oh, I'm just curious. Finally, someone okay. understands. Enjoy your research. Yes, yes, move along. Oh, he's like, my time is very important. Okay. Okay, fine. What do you want? No, I'm good. Bye. Shit. 
assault rifle damage, biotic damage, heavy pistol damage, shotgun damage. Lot of money. 90,000. <laughs> Shit. Okay. So he's he's doing the research. He's got these very valuable stuff. Very valuable upgrades. We're gonna have to get. When I can afford it. When I make a lot more money. Which will also be... Um, which also in order to even use those upgrades, we gotta mine the planets. Probe them for everything. And all that. But then we're gonna take this truck. Which... I know there's a chance we're not going to be able to drive it. But if we could, it'd be really cool. <laughs> but either way, we're going to talk to this guy, and we're going to do this on the next episode. We're going to keep pushing on, because... Because... We have to go get... <laughs> we have to go get... Um, well, there's a couple things, right? We have to get to... Um, Grunt's thing, which is on the next level. Last right? So we got to get up there. So it seems like we got to go this way probably to get up there anyway or there's another way but that's one right we gotta get Morden's guy which is going in here and going down this way to go to the blood pack and deal with them which I assume is gonna be a lot of resistance um, but even still even still I think we're gonna be fine for the most part we've dealt with them before we've dealt with a lot of people before but regardless this is this is going to be a full Krogan... Like, this is going to be like the Krogan blood pack clan home. It's going to be a big deal. It's going to be, it's going to be pretty bad. So, I'm going to actually think about all this in the comments. Seeing Rex again. We fucking did it. We got him back. We got these two coming with us. This is going to be very interesting. As far as like, well, fighting our way through. Talking our way through. We can be diplomatic. Right? So, thanks again for watching. Seriously, really appreciate it. Stick around for more Mass Effect 2. Next time. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.